Hello everyone, it's Cookie at Cookie's Cache, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today is Friday, September the 4th, and we are going to do a box opening. And actually, I've had this box for a little while. It was, I picked it up at an auction at uh, Moonstone Mama's, Devon, she had it, and I was lucky enough to win the bid. And so, we're going to go through it and see what we've got in here. It This is a what they call a wood burn box and it is handmade very pretty it has a smell of cedar to it let me just push it back a little bit I hope you all are having a wonderful day actually it's beautiful here in Albuquerque New Mexico it is very sunny breezy very light breeze it's cool not too hot here but no rain yet so right off the bat, I see coming out um, an acrylic black bangle. Very pretty. It's in good condition. I hope you all are having as good a weather as we're having here. It's really nice. I'm going to try and pick out these bangles here along the way. Try and get them out of the way at first. That's not a bangle. Oh, somebody... Somebody made a donation to uh, Four Oceans, and uh, that's to preserve, keep the, the oceans clean and, and preserve the, the wildlife that is in the oceans. It's very, very good cause, but we have one of these. Very nice. I like that. Huh? Oh, am I too far forward? Sorry. I was reaching. Okay. We have three bangles. One is a gold tone had a little bit of verdigris there and it has some kind of a mark on it it's a trafari so we'll clean that up and see how that goes and this one is a rhinestone with an ab wash on it the rhinestones just needs a little cleanup rhinestones are all in good tack they are prong set another pretty one I'm trying to see if there's any marks no and then we have a brass bangle. That's a pretty little kind of a star or sunburst with wave design on it. Very nice. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, oh isn't this cute? Can't see it. It's, um, it says, uh, fa la 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 Don't have a singing voice. But it's some little characters. Looks like two kitties and a puppy singing. So it's a Christmas goodie. It's a Hallmark card pin. Then we have some earrings. Oh, this, I think, I saw the same pattern on this. This is a, looks like it was a set. And it has, it's copper and looks like silver tone. It has a little daisy here and it's one of those be press and very, this is brand new. Looks gorgeous. Brand new. There's the earrings, the copper and the nice little set. And then, oh, look at this. Oh, this is nice. It has an S on it. It's a small a uh, cuff bracelet, gold tone. Yeah, it's a gold tone cuff. Very pretty. I don't know. Let's see if you can see that S engraved. Just give it a little, excuse me, polish up. And like I said, this is a very small one. Let's see what the size is on it. It is almost a six, not quite, about a five and, oh, uh, a little over three quarters. Okay, so here is one of those wrap bracelets. This one is copper with brown cord. This really involves a lot of work here because each one of these has to be tied in. Very pretty. You get about either a four or five wrap on this. Brass tone, brass button. And then you've got two areas that you could tie it up with. And it's brass finished here with a little brad here. 
We've got another bangle. Uh, this one is like plastic, and it's seen its better days. I had a little box going here for for my crafting lot. I found it. We'll just put it right in there. A little worse for wear. And more bangles coming out. I wanted to try and do the bangles before I got into the ropey things. Let's see, that one goes there. Oh, look at this while I'm digging. I found this. Isn't that beautiful? This is a belt buckle. And it says, it's got an American Eagle inside. It says 1994, The Gap. It's very heavy. It has a wolf's head with the feathers. Uh, Native American design. Nice for a man's belt buckle or a young man's belt buckle. Pretty. Okay, here's a thin silver tone bangle, a little bit wider one, and this one is a napier. Very nice. You can tell kind of right away, right off the bat, you can tell the quality. Here is a gold mm, copper tone with rhinestones. Good shape. Very pretty. And here is another one that could go right along with it. This one's a copper tone as well. Quite a bit of detail on that one. And this one is just a silver tone. It just needs a good wash. Okay. Oh, look, we've got some large beads, large and in charge flower beads. Glass and ceramic with a silver tone, large beads. This one is a nine inch drop, but it also has about a two inch extender, lobster claw clasp. Very pretty. And we've got a watch. Uh, I don't see any names on it. Looks like just swirl designs or leaf designs. It's blue and yellow. It's running. Yep, it's running. It's very nice. This is a kind of a, a rubbery type bracelet, or excuse me, wristband. And it doesn't appear this, that this was even ever used because the little holes where it punches through to size it are still intact. So that's a nice piece. We have a little plastic rosary. And it's hand tied. That's nice as well. Oh, little copper and seed bead necklace. Just needs to be brushed up a little bit. Okay, let's keep going here and see what else we can find. Oh, how fun. A glass and what are these? Uh, they look like dyed pearls with the glass um, faceted beads. It's just a silver tone fashion bracelet, a little lobster claw clasp. Very cute. Let me pull this out over here just for a gear. If you see anything while I'm doing this, this opening, you can always go down to the comments. I go back and review it and you can go down to the comments and let me know if you're interested and I'll vote you a prize. And that one right there is a seven and a quarter. You can see that the color is really pretty on that. It's blues and purples, and then that kind of a deep, very deep teal tone on those pearls. And the pearls are cold, so they could be just glass. Okay, and we have a, I can see a seam on this, so this is just acrylic or plastic, but it's very pretty. Very good shape. This is a like a paper clip or a bookmark. Love me, it's just a little plastic piece. And here is, let me get some of these large things out. Well, maybe. Now I know Devin goes through all her jewelry, so I know this is from being in the mail and being tossed around. 
So we're going to have some untangling, a little bit of untangling. This is copper tone. It could, it does need a polish. It looks like it laid against something. Big medallion. Very pretty. And then, of course, the copper chain that goes with it. And that one is, it is a full over clasp. This is a little bit vintage here. You can tell. And it is 10 inches to the medallion and then another two and a half inches for the medallion. So pretty. It's a nice one if you like copper. Give it a little polish. And I found out that lemon and salt and soap will polish that up like it's new. Brand new if you don't want any patina on it. This is a fold-over clasp, vintage. This is white, acrylic, plastic. Okay, we're going to adjust the camera a little bit. Better? Mm -hmm. It's got that kind of a arrow or sideways chevron, gold tone. Nice piece. I prefer these to a, a statement necklace. I really do. I, and a lot. Of, I think a lot of people do. This is a little plastic stretch bracelet, like a child's bracelet, green. Let's see what else we have in here. Okay. We'll just set those to the side. This is a lobster claw clasp, 14 and a half inch drop. It is black and red with large uh, hoops on the chain. And then of course the large statement pieces as you go down, but red, and then at the bottom, the focal point is the, the kind of the silver tone um, acrylic beads with the black one in the middle. Very cute. Okay, let's see what else. We have a clay heart. It says number one teacher on it. And then we have, oh, we have some halite, white halite. Nice, very cold. Kind of well, just variety of shapes. But that's nice. I'll have I'll put that one up for sale. But people like those. We have a black and white necklace. It has a tag on it, but it doesn't say anything. So uh, spring clasp. And it is 15 inches to the bottom drop from the clasp. Very pretty. Black and white. Kind of a ovalish bead. Oh, goodness gracious. We'll see. Whatever pops out is what we'll take first. These are acrylic. It has a... Three inch extender, lobster clock clasp. And from there, it is eight inch. They're good size. They're about, I'd say, a one centimeter bead, black. This one's like it's new. It's just, just somebody just didn't bother with it. Large beads and then the small little in between to separate. Now this is different. Matte finish, black, and then this gold, has a spring clasp, very large, very lightweight. You'd think it would be heavy, but it's not. This is different. Very pretty. And I think it's showing blue on there, but it is a black bead. Okay. This is plastic uh, faceted beads with a wash of, of Aurora Borealis on it. So it's got that shine. And it could be taken apart and used for, uh, and there's different sizes in here, kind of, um, they are faceted, but I can't tell if they're, it doesn't look, it looks like they graduate from small to large. Yeah, this one is definitely a take apart and do something with. Yeah, we'll put that in a craft lot. This one has a tag on it. It says $3.99, so they were trying to get rid of a chain. I can always use gold chains. This one is 10 inches, spring clasp, 
Nice. Very nice. Good color of gold. Oh, here's that one. I was watching it. This is pretty. These are like large... They're not clay, maybe plastic with a wood bead up at the top. And they have little kind of spring colored flowers or fall colored flowers. They look like a, a cherry tomato. And then that almost looks like the leaf that goes with the cherry tomato. Very pretty. Nice little set. Let's see what we got here. Oops, there's a back off something. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> this is an adjustable ring. It has seen better days, but I might could straighten that out. I'll put it in a craft lot, though. That's a purple heart. Adjustable, very cute. Here's another ring. This one looks like it's acrylic with a little tiny heart set in gold. It's cute. Just a little costume ring. This is a dolphin. I don't see any mark on it. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, sterling. This is sterling right here. This little, let me see if I can get it on a finger here. And you can see the little dolphin. I'm trying to get it to focus there with. There you go. My wrinkly fingers there. And this is just a little gold tone. And it has little rhinestones in it. It's really cute. Very tiny. It is about a four and a half, maybe five. Let me see what that little dolphin sterling ring was. That's about a five. This is a five. Okay. Let's see. Oh, here's our our token um, statement necklace. Well, I've got a bunch of beads here that I'm liking. Hmm. Very exciting. I don't know if you if you've been on my channel before, you know that I wire wrap stones, I wire wrap jewelry, and um, so I'm always up for for stones that come in like that. And I put my once a week I put my jewelry up for sale along with any resale jewelry I have. This is pretty. It's a statement necklace. It's very light. It's got that kind of a seafoam green to it. Or misty green, I guess they call it. These are green. They look white there, but it's a very pretty necklace. I'm trying to figure out how to best show it, and that's the best way. Lobster claw clasp, and I see now here when I lay it down, there's a little tag. Uh, no, it's just a finish on the extender, and it's a long one. It's ten and a half inches and has a gold tone. Rhinestones are all intact. Pretty much expect that when you get something from another seller. Um, they always check their jewelry before it goes out. Every once in a while something will slip past, but for the most part that's the way it comes in. This is a little teddy bear. It's really cute, just hand painted. And it's got a rollover clasp. I think I'll put that in my bare room. And this one is kind of neat. This is a, let's see what, it, what that is. Might be a little chip. Celebrate America. That's pretty. Colors on it are just really bright. And just a generic clasp. We have a hematite necklace. No pendant. And a roll a barrel clasp. I have might be in there somewhere. Something has lost its back. These are some pierced earrings. These are um, like a harlequin 
me take these out and see what they are. I think they are. They're acrylic. But they're pretty different. Little plastic uh, stretch bracelet, child's bracelet. And this is a tie tack gold tone. It's got some etching here on the front and a little uh, that probably is like a little either a ruby or just a red rhinestone. And this I love this. This is so cute. Oh, that's so cute. It's a little tin. It says love on it. It's white. And inside is a little kind of a pearl gold tone um, fan. Mother of pearl up here. That's cute. Very cute. like that. Hematite stretch bracelet. Nice stretch to it. Oh, this I like. This I like. Very much so. Silver tone. Let's look up. And it's got black and enamel here. Black enamel painted in, then the silver tone. Very pretty. Very dressy. Whoops. Make sure I didn't damage it. That's the shipping test. There we go. Let's see. We have a little kind of a it's two beads, and this is just all acrylic. It's somebody's um, artisan piece. Put that in my craft lot. And here is a copper. Well, let's look at this first. This is stone. There we go. Stone carved. It looks like, I don't know what that is down there, but that's a little daisy-like. Silver tone here. Trying to see nothing inside, so it is silver tone. Doesn't stick. Could it be? It could be silver over copper. The stone is real nice. Does have a little bit of a scratch, or is that dirt? That's uh, dirt. <laughs> this is really nice, though. Pretty different. I like different and unusual, and that seems to be the case with everybody. Let's see what's here. Delicate enough to be put in a bag by its own. Now that's unusual. You don't see many copper tone chains, you know, because I, I do wire wrap with copper and with silver and with silver tone and with gold and gold tone. But copper wire or copper chains are hard to come by. And that is a little star and a moon on a little eight inch. So pretty close to the throat. It has a two and a half inch extender, but it's very cute. Very delicate. And let's see here. I hope I'm not missing anything from the edge here. Uh, here is a little ornament. A little um, copper ornament. I can't imagine it's an earring. I don't think anybody would wear that as an earring. But maybe so. And this uh, stone, this looks like a jasper. Might be a bloodstone because I can see some of that over here on the corner. And it says health on it, which is nice. I don't too much care for when they write on the stones. This is a um, clay pin. It says molly on the back. It's the protection hand or the, I think they call it a hamsa against the evil eye, but it's very cute, very nicely done. And here is another chain. This one is just, let me see if it's an eternity. I think it is lightweight, almost like a very, very, very faded gold tone. Yes, it is an eternity, and it is Twenty-five inches open all the way, undoubled. So you could double it and wear it as a double chain on your neck. Pretty. 
And this is, oh, this is a little tiny necklace. Again, very delicate. I thank her for putting those in a, in a bag. This looks like, I don't think I can see any marks on it. It's so small. Could be just silver tone. Let's check. It's not sticking, but it has some jasper and some jasper beads. It's a Y necklace. Let's see what else I have. Another bangle, silver tone. We have, oh, how cute. We have an apple with green leaves. Little charm. And here is a ring with a tiger's eye. And it is a large size eight and three quarters. Isn't that pretty? It's got some beautiful stripes going through it. I can always count on Devin to throw in some stones or some stone jewelry with her stuff. Let's see what this one is. Oh, this is one my husband bought. <laughs> Peace out. That is, that is Larry. So he was obviously in there or... Oh, this I know what she did. He purchased it and then she put it in the box to protect it. It came in. So this was, this is a six and a half, and that might be why he purchased it, because I have very small fingers or thin fingers. This is a Labradorite, six and a half. I don't know if you can see it. See mm -hmm. this, the shine on it? The glow. Yeah, oh, there's a glow across there that's just fabulous. Nice piece, very nice piece. And this is a jasper, a red jasper, and this is um, sterling. A little tangle here, but let me see if you can see that. It's just a blood red. There. You can't see anything in it. Maybe some little, little tiny white specks, but very pretty. Okay, what's running around here? Uh, oops, found something. Oh. Here's an apple, and it says, well, it did say something on it. It said, hi, or number one, oh, probably number one teacher. You could probably reprint that in with um, a Sharpie pen, a gold Sharpie pen, which I have. This is a resin cross, very different on some wood beads. This almost looks the size of it. Well, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This could be um, one of the, what they, it's a rosary. It could be a rosary, a handmade rosary. And it's it's called, um, I want to say, uh, Los Dolores de, de la Ver Virgen which means the, the sorrows of Mary, and I think they are seven, but I'm not sure. Don't don't hold me on that one, but I was just, I was reading up on some, some rosaries, and I think I ran across that, but this is a pretty pretty cute attempt at an acrylic, uh, acrylic cross. It, it looks almost like a, a jungle scene with the water and the, the greenery. Cute, very nice. And then we have some blue beads, almost a periwinkle color, a roll, um, spring clasp, just acrylic beads, nine inches long. Nice color. You don't see that color too often. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, yes, I remember buying this. She put a lot of my other buys in here with it because it protects them. I've, this is going to be for my Christmas, um, 
my Christmas lot that I'm going to have. I've been collecting since November of last year when I started. And this one is just perfect. It's got a, a Christmas package, a tree, a stocking with um, rhinestones, has a little ornament, a little snowman, a wreath, Santa, lobster claw clasp. And we got the, the repeat starting again. And this one is a... This is a seven and a half. So that's a pretty good size bracelet for anybody. That'll fit anybody. It's really cute. Really cute. I like that. Now this is a stone. And it might... I don't know. It's rough on the sides. This looks like they polished it on the ends. But I'm not real sure. Like yeah. <laughs> Larry says it's like an apple that somebody's been gnawing at. It's got some sparkle in the rough part, and I see. It's a I think. It looks like a garnet. Yeah, it does. It looks like a raw garnet. I don't know. We'll have to. That'll be one he'll check. I'll set it over there because I think he can check that with our machine. This is a little children's ring, little star adjustable, and it's in really good condition. And now this, this I love. This is. This is very attractive, very, to me it is. It's wood beads and it has the angular or chevron upside down and right side up. Stretch bracelet, these are silver. And then the light wood and then the black wood. This is beautiful, very nice piece, I like that. This is sticking to everything. Ah, I know what this is. This is a choker necklace. I believe, and let me move this here and see if I can get it to lay right. It goes around your neck like this, and then it has this that hangs down, like on your chest. And if I had been smart enough to realize I was going to do this today, I would have put on makeup. Instead of just running around like this, this is from ETC, etc. And it is silver tone. Very unique, very different. I'll have to straighten it out a little bit, but that is really pretty. I like that. And here is an amethyst glass, and I will have him check that as well. Very pretty square stone. And it is a, I'm looking for a maker's mark or anything to indicate that it would be anything. It could be just glass, but we'll see. Oh, Christmas tree pin. I love this. I love getting Christmas tree items because like I said, I have a little bit, not a lot. Little heart with a center stone, a little, probably a faux ruby. Nice. A gold tone pendant. This is a fall pendant. Very cute. This says prosperity on it. Longevity, strength, and prosperity. And it has acorns with little oak leaves around it. That's cute. We like that. And we've got a children's stretch bracelet. A, B, seed beads. And a little horse pin that says Kentucky Horse Park. Somebody went there. Let's see what else we've got here. This was the big tangle I was letting go. These are acrylic beads with black stations. Chips, black, probably they're acrylic. It's all acrylic. And it is an 11 incher. I'm going to put that in my jewelry lot. And I have a tie clasp. Oh, this is cute. Let's see here. It has EDI on it. Does that mean anything to anybody? It's by Swank. 19, 19, 1865 to... Let me grab, grab my glass because I don't know if that's how long the company was in business for or... If, 
Oh no, that's just the model number. <laughs> okay, I was thinking it was that. Okay, other other patents pending. Okay, and I don't know what EDI is, but it's probably engineer something or other. Nice little tie clasp. Very cute. Different. I don't get a lot of that, and that's I'm okay with that. I don't have a problem with not getting men's jewelry because um, they, we do have men in our community, sellers, um, and they are very, very welcome, and they are very knowledgeable, but we don't get a lot of call for men, men's jewelry. I think that's something that's more of an Etsy or eBay thing, and this is, I'm not sure, I can't, can't quite see it. I think it says, um, is that nothing? Yeah. Not the silver, just the stone. Well, it registers amethyst, so. Really? Mm -hmm. Then we have to test the silver. Yeah. Uh, this little goodie says, if I get the right side up, it's got a lobster cloth clasp. And this was the one when I opened the box I said I was excited about because I was looking at the stones. This one says... This is, um... Premier. A Premier design, which I don't think I've ever seen one like that. These are glass beads. And there's a kind of a, a carnelian color, a teal color, amethyst, sodalite color, this gray that goes like a gray agate, peach, and then the big white one. Nice piece. Very nice. I'm pleased with that. Really excited. Now this is a little cross. Oh, what's in here? Nothing. Now this is pretty. The chain does need to be cleaned. It's a long chain. Well, relatively long, I'll say. It is a 10 inch from the clasp, which is a, a um, spring clasp, to the pendant top. It does look like it might be sterling. These are either rhinestones, but in the middle it could be a marcasite or it could be a diamond. Devin's been, uh, both her and Jennifer are great, great people, and their programs are wonderful. This is a shell necklace that's pretty old, but they have been very good with me, bringing me on board and welcoming with open arms, and, but um, uh, I like to tease Devin because I bought a big, big, I want a big, big bid on her channel, and then when I opened the box, got it home. That's metal. That's metal? Yeah. In the middle? In the middle. Marcosite? Um, when I got it home and started going through it, like I'm doing now on this box, uh, I found a 14, 14 karat gold, I believe it was, sapphire ring. And she said she was really proud that she, you know, she overlooked it, but she uh, was really proud that I got it. And I, I was really pleased with that. This is a kind of a boho looking... 14 inch to the pendant, and then another four inches. Black and white, they are, they feel woody, but I think they're acrylic. It's like a hand painted piece. Cute. Okay, and we have some pearls, but let's see what they're with. Uh, Looks like they're all, it's all one piece, and that is fine. We're at the end of this box, but I have other other boxes, another bag from Devin, and I have some other boxes that have come in, and I've just kind of been, you know, a few pieces here and there that I've purchased from them, and I'll open this. This is pretty because it can twist around, even if it's not supposed to. It does twist very well. This is also a premier design, pearls and black chains and then the crystal 
Um, the pearls are kind of cold. I would say they're covered glass, but it is a very pretty piece. And it is 10 and a half inches, and then it has a very, almost a five inch extender. So it can go pretty long on your neck. Very, very unusual. And then we have, oh, look at here, this little guy. Is he on something? Yes, he was on something. I think he just got, he might have fallen in by accident. I collect bears. I have probably over 300 bears, and we're in an empty nest now, Larry and I. And uh, so one of the bedrooms got turned into a bear room. And I was thinking about changing it around and doing something different with it. And I was talking in front of my son. And he went, oh, no, 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 you can't do that. Um, because I don't have a place to put them, and I want them. And I was like, are you serious? <laughs> but anyway, here's a little panda. That's cute. He just needs to be on a new chain. A little panda pendant. And it's enamel. Very cute. And then this is a little, I'm going to say it's an anklet with three little hearts with little, three little round, rhinestones on each one. So I'm betting it's, it's pretty good size. It's, I'm betting it's a, oh yeah, it's eight and a half. So either a very large wrist, which is fine, silver tone, or a, an ankle. Yeah, get your ankle. An anklet, sorry. But it is cute. It is cute. Very attractive. Not a lot. Not a lot of dangling going to be out there. Okay. I haven't taken a drink on my soda while we've been doing this, so my tongue is starting to get thick. This is wood with mother of pearl. Isn't that pretty? Look at that on a silver tone chain. Really nice. It is nine inch drop and it has a three and three inch extender fin finished lobster claw clasp. Nice color. And this is a very lightweight, pretty, pretty, very dressy looking. Uh, this is a, huh. I was going to be able to pull it off. Usually in the afternoons, my eyes are a lot better. This is a this is Korean made, but it has these uh, kind of a seafoam green pearls inside, a large one and then a bookcase between two small ones. Very pretty gold tone, nice chain, good condition. And then we have this one with a fold-over clasp. I believe this is just a chain. Oh, that would be pretty together. That green one with this pearl one that's coming up. There's a pearl one coming up. Oh, that one. This one. This one just popped out. Oh, actually, there's two of them. One has the three, three stations, the main one, and then it's the little gold tone chain. I thought I saw something on this. It has a a T for, I'm trying to get it to turn around here. I think it's a Talbot. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure that's Talbot. Very nice, pretty. And then this one, I noticed there was a hang tag as well. And it says Monet. And... This one was very well loved. I see the edge where I've been, I polished my nails earlier and I see the edge where it's chipping off now because playing with the jewelry. It's like, I knew that was gonna happen. I usually have to wait a day. This one says, let me turn on the light here. A little sheet light. Oh. Let's see if I could see it. If I give it a cleanup, I could see it. It says, I'll have to look at it after I give it a wash because it's got some little bit of verdigris on it. 
so I can't quite tell. And this was the other one, a fold over clasp, and it's it's just a simple chain, no name, lightweight vintage chain. Okay, that does it for that box. So we've gone through that box, and we will set it aside and uh, come back after a little break, and we'll do the rest of the things. I have one good bag, another good bag coming in, but look for us on another video for the second part of this one. All righty, we'll see you in a bit. Thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me. If you will, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and go out to the right and hit the all button, which will let you know whenever I'm online, whether I'm having a sale or a show. Um, also, share with your friends. And when you're on your way out, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me build my channel. Look forward to seeing you on the next video, which will be another bag opening. This one here that I have right in front of me. And we'll see you then. Thank you.